Hi folks, we're going to do another quick little exercise here in Inventor Basics for beginners. So let's start off with our open new, standard IPT, and create. Okay, so just follow along, should be fine. We're going to go standard 2D sketch, and we're going to go with the YZ plane today. So we're in our YZ plane now, and let's just go and create some lines here from the origin. Just make this zoom out a bit. Go draw another line here. Now we're going to offset these lines that we just created. So let's take offset, select the lines, and just bring it out. We'll add additional lines. So it doesn't matter how you put these in to start because we're going to dimension them once I'm done. So these are in. So now let's start dimensioning. So we want to go and dimension from here to here. And this dimension will be. 1.575. We'll click finish. We'll do the same with this one. We'll do finish. And next we'll do these sides. We only have to do one of these. Because it's constrained. So let's make this 0.472 and click finish. There we have our profile. So let's go finish this sketch off. Let's zoom this guy in full. And now let's uh, create our extrude. And now in our properties box, we want to make this symmetry. And we want to make this distance 1.575, just to make it fully square. And we'll click OK. That's to it. Now let's go in and create a shell on the back. So to do a shell, we just go to the 3D under Modify, and we have what you call a shell. Now, we want to select this distance here. So we want to make this 0.197. And then we want to select this face and this face. And then for the bottom and the front, we want this face and this space. Okay. So now we'll click OK here. Now let's create a third feature to this. So let's go in to our we want to go on sketch. We want to do a 2D sketch. And let's select this space right here. Put this down a bit. And here we want to use this slot. Um, we want to take this slot here, some center to center slot, and let's just add a point here and a point about right there. And let's just make a third point somewhere out here, anywhere. And now again, we want to dimension this. So let's dimension this. Radius is going to be 0.236. We'll finish that off. And then we'll take this dimension right here. I don't know, we probably should have did that one first, but let's see what happens. It's 0.590. 
Let me finish that. And then we'll dimension from here to the edge to center it up. So we'll take dimension from there to that point. And this dimension is 0.787. Let me finish. Okay. So now we want to go ahead and finish this sketch here. And now we want to um, hit the extrude, select the sketch. This time we want to hit join. We want to go to hit join here and go this direction. And this is going to be joined as a full shape. So play around with that until you get it right. That's all I did. And then now, once that's done, we'll say OK. And there's our shape. Now, let's take this a little farther. And let's do a feature, a cut feature on this. So let's go with, um, we want to do another sketch. Let's select this front face. And what we'll do is we want to, um, Let's just do another slot here. And we got the center point. I want to go from, let's see here, to about there. Just roughly. And then let's make a dimension here. Let's make this, uh, make this a little bit bigger I think. Let's go 0.118. Mm, nope, let's undo that. Let's try something else here. Let's place that again if you can. So let's go with another slot and let's place this guy right about here. I have a couple of things I probably should try to do. Yeah, that looks like it. Point one one. Let's try this one. See what this works. Let's go here. Okay. Let's try one more time. I think, yeah, I see what happened here at origin point. So let's go slot again. Yes, yeah, right there. Okay. And that one is there. I'm going to go from here to here. That's it, I think. Let's see what happens. I'm not gonna keep mucking with this. I'm gonna. I'm just trying to make it proportionate. It doesn't look it so. Let's drop a dimension on it and see what we get. Nope. So. I'm going to just not worry about this. I'm just going to get a feature in here, anything. So I'm going to go slot. Uh, I go center to center. Place one there. That looks like about it. I'm going to stay with that one. <laughs> and I'm going to click finish here. So now what we do with this is uh, we'll, we'll go into our same thing, create 3D model, I'm sorry, extrude. And we'll select this guy. 
but this one will send it all the way through and we'll have the cut feature on and so that's all we need to do there and then we'll say okay so there you have it now I'm going to take this a little further wasn't planning on it but we might as well because we want to get through all these guys so we want to create a rib feature something that goes like right across the top here like a rib in that so to do that we want to go to our create 2d sketch again and we want to go down here to where it says plane and we want to go to where it says between two planes so to do that we need to select the right face and move over here and let's select the left face and as you see they disappear we created a center a center plane here to work on so now we want to go back here again and go to our 2d sketch and we want to select this mid plane and so now once we have that mid plane selected we want to go to the bottom and we want to slice this guy so we sliced our graphics here Now we want to uh, sketch, create project geometry and cut edges. So what we do here is we go to project geometry, project cut edges, and drop this down. It's a drop down, and we'll just select project edges. It's already selected. So we have these edges that occur, so we can do our geometry on that. So what we do from that point on, we'll draw the sketch line with our line and just draw a sketch from here I don't know from here to here I guess let's get in some dimension here so you can dimension this if needed so we'll make this 0.197 and then we'll click finish that's 197 okay and then we'll do our finished sketch now our sketch is completed here, so now we want to select our 3D rib. So we go into 3D here, and where it says rib, and then we'll select our sketch. And at this point, we want to select parallel plane to sketch. Okay, this is not going to work. Uh, so this button, yeah, it will. And then we'll select next two and symmetry and OK. So there you go, folks. That's how you create this figure with a mid plane. So we learned a few more uh, commands here. Oh, and then like, OK, for instance, you want to get rid of this mid plane. So you just select it, right click and go to transparency. somewhere on here let's see hold on a minute so we'll go here we'll select the right click visibility and just uncheck that and there you go so hey everybody thank you for watching my video uh, we'll do more of these uh, inventor training and any questions or any comments please put them in my comment section so hey, everybody be safe and stay in and learn Riveting Bitter and Dallas works with me. Talk to you later. Until next time, bye. Please subscribe.